Coming up on UVC, the food drive continues. Information about new athletes. Join me, Alfredo, in sports. Marine Biology Club information. All this and more coming up on UPC, and it starts right now. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Tuesday, November 11th edition of the UPC Morning Show. I'm Drew Sewell. And I'm Diane Johnson. The Marine Biology Club will pick up, pick up your no November calendars mm. in F5. Cord class grass painting is next Saturday, November 15th. Seniors, the Herb Jones representative, will be here Tuesday through Wednesday, November 11th and 12th during lunch to take orders for graduation announcements. Extra catalogs and price sheets are in the main office. Juniors and seniors, do you wonder what you will do after graduation? What kind of job you should try to find? Which occupations are best for you? Whether to go to college, technical training, the military, or look for a job? To make this decision, you need to find out as much as possible about what careers match your interests, abilities, and preferences. Take a free aptitude test. The ASVAB Career Exploration Program can provide an opportunity to learn more about yourself in the world of work. This aptitude battery will be administered free of charge to you right here at Countryside High School on November 13th in the auditorium. Sign up in the guidance office this week. Winter Guard auditions are November 17th at Harborside Christian and the auditorium, 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. There is a clinic November 6th after school for anyone interested and some help before auditions from 2.30 to 3.30. Drama Club members, the day for district auditions has been changed from November 7th to November 21st. Please note and plan to attend. <coughs> Every morning, some countryside students may be making a traffic violation. Here's Claudio to tell you more. Every morning, students at Countryside High use Charles Road in order to avoid the left turn to going to school. What they don't know is that some of the actions they're doing are illegal. Let's have Officer Howard tell us a little bit about it. Well. I got several complaints from parents and business people in this area here. They're complaining of our students who are using this roadway here and it's congesting traffic. It's causing a major backup because what the students are doing, rather than turning into the school to the left lane, which is provided for, what they're using is Charles Avenue as a turnaround to go into the parking lot. Now what that does, first of all, it impedes the flow of traffic and they're making this U-turn here in this intersection, and it's causing a major backup. By state law, when you impede the flow of traffic and you're turning in this intersection, that's illegal, and that's a $77 violation. Now, Friday morning and today as well, I came out and kind of educated these kids, kind of told them that they, what they were doing was illegal. I'm asking their cooperation not to do that. If it continues, then I'm going to be forced to write $77 tickets. The action I'm about to demonstrate is illegal in the state of Florida, and it can cost you a fine of $77. This has been Claudio Mensuratolo, UPC. <laughs> yes, I have. Thanks, Claudio. NHS members, we need 10 students to help with the Great American Teach-In on Wednesday, November 19th. Sign up in K-8 if you want help. All Earth Effects members, the fundraiser deadline is coming up on Friday, November 14th to Ms. Knut's room in D-7. Remember that your payments must accompany the order and to make the check payable to Countryside High School. The canned food drive is here. Students, bring your canned foods to your first period class. The first period class that collects the most cans will win a breakfast in their honor. But keep in mind that the real focus of the food drive is not is to feed starving families. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. This is the final week to submit your favorite recipes to the Cougar to the Culinary Cougar. Friday is the last day. So bring in your recipe box for that favorite one and turn it in as soon as possible. There are still people who need to pick up homecoming pictures. Please come to B4 to pick them up. Attention all marine biology members, 
Please meet in Ms. Boylan's room promptly at 12 o'clock for the back of the yearbook picture today. The academic team is having their first home meet on November 12th at 3.30 in the Media Center. With information on the Boys Cross Country team, here's Alfredo with sports. Thank you, Diane and Drew. I'm Alfredo Muente with UPC Sports. The wrestling team is looking for ninth or 10th grade athletes to wrestle at the 103-pound weight class and athletes weighing between 150 and 170 pounds. See Coach Freyer as soon as possible if interested. Uh, tonight, the girls' basketball team will begin play for the 1997 regular season as they open at home against the East Lake Eagles. And uh, to tell us a little bit more on the team, we've got here a couple of the members from the varsity basketball team, Sarah Wozniak and Rachel Omo. Uh, thank you for being on the show today, girls. Uh, first of all, Sarah, I'd like to know what is the outlook for the 1997 season? Well, I think this year we're going to surprise a lot of people. I know in past years we haven't had much confidence from the school, but um, we've been really lucky to have a new coach this year, and she's done a great job with us, and I really think we're going to come out and have a winning season. Okay, and uh, Rachel, tell us, uh, throughout the year, what's going to be your toughest competition? Um, I think our toughest competition would be Dunedin and Seminole and most likely Clearwater. But um, like Sarah said, we are going to come out and surprise a lot of people. We've done very well this year. We're a young, new team. We've got a lot to offer. Okay, thank you very much, and good luck on your game. The JV game for the girls starts tonight at 6.15, followed by the varsity game promptly at 7.45. And that's all in sports today. Now back to Diane and Drew. Thank you, Alfredo. We have a few last-minute announcements. And happy birthday to Amanda Wilhite from all her friends. Happy birthday to Jill, Love Nicole, Jenny, Kimber, Jessica, Ashley, Danielle, and Kirsten. Classes to assist students in preparing for the SAT or ACT will be offered for the Clearwater Adult Education Center. The four-week course runs two nights a week from 6 to 9 p.m. from November 3rd through December 1st. Tuition is only $48. Do you owe fines on library books? If so, the Media Center has a deal for you. During the months of November and December, they will be accepting food for fines. When you bring in a non-perishable food item, all fines listed under your name will be waived. All food collected will be donated to a needy family through the SGA. And we have a happy birthday to Ellen from Jen and Jen. And your earth effect is the meat and dairy industries account for nearly half of all water consumed in the United States. That's all for today. We're closing with uh, some local rock stars, the Fairmonts. Bye. <laughs>